Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna learn how to determine if the function is odd or even. Alright, so let's take a look at this picture right here. An even function is a function that receives the y-axis as an axis of symmetry. So, you look at this one right here, the y-axis split the graph in half. Right, the left half and the right half. Now, if you pick a point on the graph, so I'm gonna pick this point right here. All right, so I have S value right here. It's gonna be one, and the Y value is gonna be three. Now, I have the same point on the left hand side. It's gonna be negative one and Y equal to three. So you see that the left point right here is going to be negative 1, 3. And the right point right here, it should be 1, comma, 3. And you see that these two points right here, symmetrical about the y-axis, right? So the y-axis acts like a mirror, right? Now, to generalize this formula, we have the point S, Y right here, right? And then we have the image of this point is going to be negative S, Y, right? Because S opposite Y stays the same, right? So this is even function. Now let's take a look at the odd function. Now the odd function have a graph that is symmetric with respect to origin, right? So this is the origin right here. Now I'm gonna pick a point on the graph. So suppose I pick this point right here, right? So I have S value equal to two, Y value equal to eight, All right? Now I have the symmetrical points of these points it should be right here All right so s value equal to negative 2 and y value equal to negative 8 all right so i have the pre-image point is going to be 2 8 and then the image should be negative 2 negative 8 right because this point right here and this point right here is symmetrical about the origins right here. Alright, so which is the distance from this point to the origin equal the distance from this point to the origin. Right, to generalize this case, I have the point S, Y. Alright, and then the image of this point should be negative S and negative Y. All right, keep this formula in mind. Now, let's take a look at a few examples. Now, we need to determine if the following function is even or odd. So, we need to explore the symmetries of the function, right? So, look at the first one right here. The function does not pass the origin, right? So the function is not odd. The function does not receive the y-axis as an axis of symmetry. So the function is not even. So this should be neither. Now, look at the second one. The function receives the y-axis as an axis of symmetry, right? So this function is even. This one similar to number two. The function receives the y-axis as an axis of symmetry. So this should be even. All right, number four. The function symmetric with respect to the origin, right? So this is up. Now, number five, similar to number four. The function symmetric with respect to the origin, right? So this is up. The function is not 
symmetric with respect to the y-axis. No, the function is not symmetric with respect to the origin. So the function right here, neither. Now let's move on to the next example. So given two tables right here, the left one is even, the right one is odd. Now we need to complete the table. Alright, so we learn that if the function is even and the original point s y, the image of this point should be negative s and y, right? For the odd function, the original point is s y. The image of this point should be negative s and negative y. So keep that in mind. Now we need to fill in the blank right here. So we see that because the function is even, right? So we have the point right here. Negative 2, right? 2 right here. You see that? S opposite, because the function is even, S opposite, Y should stay the same, right? So this is negative 2, this is 2. Right? S equal 2, Y equal negative 4. S equal negative 2, Y equal negative 4. Now, this guy, 1. This guy, negative 1, right? Negative 1, we get negative 7. 1 must be negative 7, right? Because Y stay the same, S opposite. Right, the last one, negative 3 and 3 right here, opposites, y must be the same, so y plus 5 right here, right here must be 5, right? Now, odd function, right, s opposites, y opposites, right, so we start with negative 3, right, and s right here, opposites, now this is 5, this must be negative 5, right, now, this guy, 2, this guy, negative 2, right? This is negative 4, and this must be 4. This guy, negative 1, this guy, 1. This is negative 7, this must be 7, right? Let's move on to the second example. So given the graph right here, all right, we only have the half of the graph of FLS, and we need to complete the other half, right? So we have two different ways to do it. Now, first one right here, the given function is even, right? So, if the function is even, it receives the y-axis as an axis of symmetry. So, which means every single point right here must be symmetrical to the other points about the y-axis. So, what does it mean? It means the distance from this point to the y-axis equals to the distance from the image to the y-axis. So, it should be right here, the image of this point right here, right? Because you have this one, two, three, right? Now, this guy stay on the y-axis, so it's, it should be the same, right? Now, this guy right here, the distance from this point to the y-axis, and then the distance from the image to the y-axis should be equal to one, two, three, four, five. It should be equal to five. So, it could be one, two, three, four, five. So, the point's right here, right? And the last one right here, it should be 7, right? So the distance from this guy to the y-axis should be 7. And then you just connect this point, and you get the answer, right? And here's the final answer. Now the second way, it's going to be longer, all right? So you need to locate this point right here. So you need to find the coordinate of this point. It should be 0, 4, 2. Right, so after that, you're gonna use the formula right here. You need to find the images of these four points, right? So the image of this point should be S opposites Y stay the same. So it should be 0, 4. All right, this guy should be negative 5, 3. This guy should be negative 7, 2. This guy should be negative 3. Ne negative one. Alright. Now the last step, you need to locate these four points of the image right here on the S and Y coordinate. So we get these four points right here. And then you just connect these four points and you get the answer. Alright. Now let's take a look at the next example right here. Now the function is art, right? So 
because the function is odd, so every single point will be symmetrical about the origin, right? So this guy right here stay on the origin, so it could be the same. Now this guy right here, right? We need to find the image of this point, so it should be opposite right here. It should be right here, right? Now the next one, this guy right here. So we need to look at this one. It's gonna be um, the x value should be fine. The y value should be fine. So we have five five, right? So it could be some right here. The point should be right here. And the last point right here, s equal to eight and y equal to three. So it could be eight three, right? So so it should be right here. Alright, so we just connect this guy. And we're done. Alright, now the second way is to do this one. We locate this point. So this could be 8, 3. This one, 5, 5. This guy's 3, negative 3. And this guy's 0, comma, 0. And then we need to find the images of these four points by using the formulas right here. So s, y, and the image should be negative s, negative y. So the image should be negative 5, negative 5. This is negative 8, negative 3. This guy's negative 3, 3. And then the last one right here, it should be itself, right? All right, so we just locate these three points right here on the S and Y coordinate, and we get the answer. It should be right here, right here, and right here. All right, now let's move on to the next one right here. If f of s is an even function and f of 3 equal to 5, then what is the value of 4 times f of 3 plus 2 times f of negative 3? Right, so here's the key information right here. Even function. So even function, we're gonna apply the formulas right here, right? Alright, so f of three equal to five, which means s equal to three, y equal to five. Alright, so the image of this point right here should be look s square negative s square, right? So it's gonna be negative 3 comma 5 right so we use this formula right here so it's gonna be 4 times f of 3 f of 3 equal to 5 so 4 times 5 plus 2 times f of negative 3 f of negative 3 equal to 5 right so times 5 all right so 4 times 5 equal 20 plus 10 so it's gonna be 30 so the answer must be this guy all right all right, let's move on to the next concept. Now, given the function right here and without using a calculator, how do we prove that if the function is even or odd? All right, so we need to use the formula right here. Now, given the function f of s, we need to replace s with negative s. All right, so I start with f of negative s right here. Now, if I end up with the function f of s, and then this guy is an even function. Alright, also if I start with f of negative s, and then I'm going to end up with negative f of s, and then this should be odd function. Now, if I start with f of negative s, and then I don't end up with negative f of s. No, I don't end up with f of s. And then this should be neither. Alright. So, let's take a look at the first example right here. Example number one. Right, so I have f of s equal to s cube minus s square plus 4s 
plus two. All right. So you're gonna do like this. You're gonna start with f of negative s. So what does it mean? Which means you're gonna replace all s value right here with negative s, right? Don't forget parenthesis. So I put parenthesis right here. I have s right here. I must put negative s. Q minus sign. I copy the minus sign right here. Now s right here must be replaced with negative s. So it could be negative s square plus four times negative s plus two. Don't forget parenthesis. So keep that in mind. All right. Now I'm gonna simplify this guy. Any negative number raised to the odd power, it should be negative. So it should be negative s cubed. This guy, right, negative s squared raised to the even power, it should be positive. And you have the negative side right here, so you just write negative s squared. Right, 4 times negative s, it could be negative 4s plus 2. Alright, after you replace s with negative s and then you simplify and you check to see the one that you already simplified match up f of s right right here right they actually don't match right so this is not even now it is not even we need to check to see if it is an odd function right so, in order to do that, we need to factor the negative one out, right? So I put negative side right here, parenthesis, which means you're gonna divide each terms right here by negative one, right? So I have negative s q. I divide by negative one. It turns out to be s q. Now negative s squared divided by negative one. It turns out to be plus s squared. Negative four s divided by negative one. It should be plus four s. Plus 2 divided by negative 1, it should be negative 2. Alright, now I check the one inside parenthesis to see if this guy match up f of s, right? So f of s, I got it right here, and this guy right here, different, right? So this is not odd. So because it's not even, and it is not odd, this guy should be neither. Alright. Now let's move on to the next one. Question 2, 3, 4, similar to question number 1. Alright, now I'm going to do number 5. So I have number 5 right here. This is f of s. Okay, now I need to use the formula right here to check to see if the given function is even or odd, right? So I'm going to replace all s value right here with negative s. So I start off f of negative s. Right, so it could be square root of, don't forget parenthesis, I put negative s inside, right to the power of 4, minus negative s right to the power of 2, and then plus 4 outside, alright? So I'm going to simplify this one, right, so it could be square root of, now negative s right to the even power, it should be positive, so s power of 4. Negative s raised to the even power 2. So it should be positive. So it's a negative s squared. Alright. Plus 4 outside. Alright. So I'm going to check to see if this guy match up the original one. So this guy right here. And original one right here. They're both the same thing. Right. So this is actually equal to f of s. So because we have f of negative s equal to f of s dc even function so if the function is even and then we stop we don't need to check anymore right now let's move on to the next example example number 10 all right so i'm gonna start off f of negative s equal to negative s square root of negative s altogether square minus 1, right? 
All right, now I'm going to simplify. So negative s, I just remove the parenthesis, so it can be negative s like this. This guy's negative s square is going to be s square, right? So I have s square right here, minus 1. All right, so I check the whole thing. The whole thing right here different from the original one, right? Original one is going to be like this. The whole thing has the negative side right here. So this guy different from f of s, right? It's because it's different from original one, so this is not even. All right, now because it's not even, we keep checking to see if it's odd, right? So we're gonna factor negative side out, right? So we have negative one right here, parenthesis. So this is negative s divided by negative one. It should be s, right? This guy read, read right, so s squared minus one. Right, all right. So I rewrite the negative side right here. Now the one inside parenthesis right here. This is actually original function right here, f of s, right? So I put f of s right here. Right. So I have the f of negative s equal to negative f of s. So by the formula right here, the function is r. Now let's move on to the last example. Example number six right here. Alright, so I'm going to start off f of negative s. So I'm going to replace s with negative s, right? So I have absolute value of parenthesis negative s plus 4, right? So I remove the parenthesis. So it turns out to be absolute value of negative s plus 4, right? Now I'm going to check to see if this one matches this guy. So this guy and this guy are different, right? So this guy is different from f of s. So the function is not even. Now if the function is not even, I keep checking to see if the function is odd, right? So I'm a factor negative side out, right? So I have absolute value of negative s minus 4, right? Alright, so the absolute value of negative side right here turns out to be positive. So it's going to be absolute value of s minus 4. Right here, they are different, right? So this is different from negative f of s. So this is not r. So we can conclude that the given function is neither. Now, my question is for you. Is there any function that's both even and odd? And it's good time to stop. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember that if you fail failing to prepare, you're repairing to fail. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. Just begun as she puts her hand.